hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about laravel 11 middleware okay so guys we will be seeing how to create the middleware how to set up the middleware in our laravel application and how we can use that middleware okay so guys now let's get started so guys i have already created a fresh laravel application and served the application here so which is running on localhost 8000 and now guys let us get started with creating the middleware okay so guys let's open a new terminal by clicking on this or else you have an option here so now guys let's create the middleware using artisan command so php artisan make colon middleware and the middleware name so we will create an admin middleware okay so we will see with an example of admin middleware how we can use this admin middleware in our laravel application perfect so here our admin middleware is created guys you can find that inside the app http middleware and admin middleware okay so let's open this and here is the handle function guys which you have to write the code inside this about your logic okay and now guys uh, let us include this middleware or register this middleware so guys in laravel 11 version there are two ways to include the middleware so for example if you want to apply this middleware on the home page okay on this root path so let me just show you let's go to our routes web.php and here you have the root path okay so in this you can just add a middleware middl middleware function and you can mention the class name directly so let's copy this class name and paste here colon colon class and make sure you are importing its class guys so import class here is the path of the admin middleware app http middleware admin middleware okay and now guys let us see what happens on this route so let me just refresh and show you so if you refresh here nothing happens right so let's go inside this admin middleware so let's move here and let me just echo some string data hello middleware okay so i am inside the handle function and now let us get back refresh and here you see hello middleware has come here so let me just and it's not visible so i'll use dd open and close curly brace and now if you refresh okay so you might see here hello middleware okay let me zoom it yep so now your your middleware is working on this home page okay so this is one way to include the middleware and if you don't want to use in this format you want to use in different like using aliases so for that also option is available so let me just show you in the laravel documentation like how to use middleware aliases here let's click on it and here it says go to your bootstrap folder app.php and include in this way okay so now guys let us just copy this get back and let me arrange go to your bootstrap folder app.php and here is the middleware guys okay so inside this middleware you have to paste it and make sure the spelling is same and then use the aliases and here make it as is admin and the admin middleware okay admin middleware class okay and also import its class guys that's it so you have registered your admin middleware and you can use this aliases in your web routes okay so use a single quotes and paste is admin and make sure you are removing this because we are not using here anymore so now if you get back and just refresh so here you this same result okay so it gets the same result perfect so guys we have seen about how to create the middleware how to use the middleware so now guys let us see with another example what you can do with the middleware so guys let me just copy this and paste again and tell here I want to create a user page okay so this should be accessed by authenticated user so for that uh, let me create a simple blade file like user hyphen page so let's copy this and create a blade file in the resource views and directly I will create it user.blade.php and mention here in a h1 tag user page okay now let's close this file and you are able to move on that page okay 
done and now guys i don't want to keep the middleware on home page and user on user page so now get back and refresh here so let me zoom out and let's go to the user page so we are on the user page and you have not received that hello okay hello user page so let me just show you so this is my hello user page so now guys uh, we are using this middleware right in this middleware we are using is admin okay which is aliases so let's go to the and here is admin is registered with the admin middleware so let's go to that admin middleware and here you see we have ddd so let's remove it and now if you refresh it will work smooth so hello user page okay so now guys uh, let's write some condition here to check so user if condition and mention like auth colon colon check so which checks for the user authentication okay is user authenticated or not so let me just import this class so here the class is imported and now if he is authenticated then only come inside else you can make him a b o r t abort and 401 401 is for not logged in okay so now if you refresh so here you see unauthorized so this means you are not allowed if you are logged in then you will be able to access the user page okay so guys let me just show you by logging it let's log in so if you don't know how to create a login and registration please watch out this video laravel 11 how to make login and registration page using breeze package okay so now guys let's get back and let me log in as a user with at gmail.com and i have logged in so perfect so here you are on the dashboard now if you try to access the user page you'll be able to access hello user page perfect so guys this is how you can use the uh, middleware to check for the authentication or not okay and also guys in laravel they provide the auth using middleware okay auth middleware so you can just use in this way also auth and now guys let's get back and refresh so it doesn't happen anything because you are already logged in okay so now guys let me just tell you one more thing like we have a passing parameter so here middleware parameters so let's go on it and here you see they are passing one string role and you can do this something like this okay so now let's get back and go to our middleware and here after this closure just give comma use a string and give a role so role or type or user type user type it depends on you what data you are passing it okay so how do you use this so it's basically like currently i will keep it role only and you can just check here let me comment for our reference and just pass your rule dollar rule and here in single quotes i will tell as admin so if it is admin and role equal to this then you will get in okay then you will be able to access the user page so guys now uh, let's get back to the web.php and how do you pass the parameters so you just have to add colon and make it as admin okay so if you are admin then you can access this user page so you can get back here and if admin equal to admin then you will be able to access else you will be like 401 so why 401 you have to make it as 403 so you are not authorized so for that you have to just write a two condition here like let me so this is for the login and let's create and let's keep the again about and make it to 403 and now guys let's see the output let's get back refresh and you are able to access perfect so if you just change this role here like parameter you are passing here to user okay or just make it to manager and if you try to access now here you will get forbidden okay that means you are not allowed to use that so guys this is how middleware parameter is used so now guys coming to this admin middleware and here instead of using this static admin you can use your authenticated store data like 
for example auth of user of role okay so for example you have stored the role column inside your database in the user column okay so at that time you can access this and match the role okay so guys if you are using a spaceship package also then you can just use the has role function and check here as admin so this also works fine so as you see the example given in the laravel documentation the authenticated user has role of admin so according to that it will process okay so let's get back to our editor so in this application i have not created with any spaceship package or the role part so i will keep it as static so guys we have seen how to create the middleware how to set up the middleware and utilize in our web routes okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share